Hashtags. Hashtags. What the fuck? Do you create things? Do you post things? Of course you do, because you're a kid, probably. But you do have social media, because who doesn't? And if you're someone who makes and posts content, which is most people, then chances are you've probably used hashtags. I too am one of many people who use hashtags. But let's be real, we should have some ground rules, because instances like this are freaking hideous. I think if we look at the bare bones of hashtags, we can come to the conclusion that hashtags are used to categorize stuff. It's pretty simple. You make a post about something and you use a hashtag relating to whatever that is. Typically it's more than one, which is understandable and reasonable. But I think when it comes to limiting hashtags, it would really make sense to use the ones that are most relevant. Or you could just disregard this rule and absolutely flood the description with hashtags. But one may ask, why? Why would you use so many hashtags? Why, sir? Why, why are there so many? The big boy of getting your content viewed, getting likes, subs, whatever it may be. The more keywords that help optimization and searching, the better chance you'll have of getting your content viral. But of course, this is kind of unethical, because some of the hashtags are barely relevant. Sure, they kind of meet the cutoff, or yeah, this kind of relates to whatever it is I posted, but we all know you put it in there because you wanted to get more views. So let's be real, we all use hashtags for the same reason, and likely will, so where do we draw the line? I mean, there technically is no line drawn, there's no rules, you could use a million hashtags if you wanted to, you could absolutely break the friggin' system, or something. But there is sort of a line when it comes down to what's considered ethical. In my personal opinion, I'd say anywhere from 1 to 3 is a reasonable amount, but the maximum amount I've ever used was 5. I figured whatever was most relevant was likely to be accepted. I figured that I cared more about relevancy and honesty. But as I said earlier, you could just completely abandon these rules. It really comes down to why you content create and what you want most for your content. You could get more views and likes by spamming the shit out of your post with hashtags, or you could just risk getting less views by using the amount of hashtags that would seem more reasonable. One's kind of annoying and to some extent untruthful, and the other's more honest and relevant. I mean, I don't really care personally but it really comes down to what type of content creator you want to be. To create for clout or to create simply for the sake of creating things, just because you like it or you enjoy it, and don't care about what the result is. And that's pretty much it. There's more of a rant than it was a guide of etiquette, but take it as you will. At the end of the day, the creation of your content comes down to you. What choices you make, whatever it is you choose to do or not to do, and sometimes you just have to forget about hashtags and hope to god that the algorithm promotes the shit out of whatever it is you made. Maybe your content is so good that you don't even need hashtags. You might just hit the algorithm and blow up. Or maybe your content sucks ass, but you just don't care about it. Because at the end of the day, you didn't succumb to the algorithm. You love making content for the sake of making content and being a good creator. Or maybe not.